The, the, the impact of our two programs, uh, first of all in mobile, we really provide drugs to very remote health centers uh, so, so the population can have access to drugs. And we're training the staff uh, to, uh, to provide a better quality healthcare. Uh, so we organize supervision training uh, to each health center so the people there could, could have uh, qualitative healthcare. In the, in the Panzi Hospital, um, we really help the, the Dr. Mukwege and his great uh, hospital and his great team to increase the capacity into psychosocial healthcare for the, the victim of sexual violence. And we are for the moment writing a specific report on, on the sexual violence in South Kivu uh, to provide help to the advocacy of the project so the situation in South Kivu can change. So uh, specific, specifically uh, with Dr. Mukwege, uh, what is fascinating about this project is that it's a, a, a big hospital in the middle of nowhere, close to the Bukavu city, uh, where there is, uh, it's a very well-run hospital and we did a lot of qualitative work uh, run by Congolese, uh, and with the authority of Dr. Mukwege. And then it's just there to, to help with the, the psychologist uh, and with, with mental health activity uh, after the medical activity for the women who, had to, who were victims of sexual violence. Uh, since the beginning of this year, we, we saw more than 1,210 women uh, victim of, of rape, of, of sexual violence in globally. And after the medical, let's say, uh, uh, operation, we accompany them to go back to the community where there is also activity of the, the Pandi Hospital uh, and with a psychosocial follow-up. The challenge for MDM in DRC, uh, first of all, it's logistics. You know, DRC, it's a country with no road. Uh, in the MOBA district, there is several health centers that we have to, to reach them by boat. Uh, during three months, the lake, uh, it's too violent to, to, to sail, so we have problems to get there. Uh, and th the most difficult action is really to get the drugs to the health center and to give trainings on the spot uh, um, in the MOBA district. Uh, in, in the Panzi hospital, the, the biggest challenge uh, is that the, the situation of the sexual violence prevalence uh, should stop. Uh, and that question of advocacy, the question to stop the violence against women from military group, but also the global incidence of sexual violence in South Kivu, uh, which lasts during the last 10 years. So, uh, and then Belgium will still run uh, uh, the project in the MOBA district for the uh, following five years uh, with the help of the Belgian government with the idea to increase the, the qualitative uh, healthcare uh, and to concentrate uh, the help in, into five or six healthcare centers uh, and try to, to bring innovation in those five or six uh, healthcare centers. Um, in the, the Panzi Hospital, really, our aim uh, is to go out of the hospital and uh, to work more within the community, to, to, to localize some commune, some area where there is a big incidence of sexual violence, and try to concentrate our help to diminish that incident. In the Panzi Hospital, we, reach, uh, we have reached this year uh, a bit more than 1,210 victim of violence. Thank you so much for your support for our organization.